So now in this video we're going to look at this circuit which is very similar to the last circuit we did, the last video. So I'm going to go over this quickly. But uh, we have a couple of 10,000 ohm resistors here. One to the uh, positive supply, the other to the negative supply. It is coming to the inverting input right there of this comparator. This is only a comparator, not an op amp. And uh, we'll talk about that more coming up. So in any case, as long as I stay below half of the supply voltage with the trim pot, the blue LED will light up and if I go above halfway then the red LED will light up doesn't matter how far above halfway as long as I'm halfway this is a comparator so now let's look at uh, some voltages because that is what is important for this circuit so we have 5 volts at the supply so as always we lose a little bit of voltage along the way due to resistance where there's connectors and uh, whatnot but it's pretty much spot on 5 volts just a little bit of loss now, in relationship to ground, we're going to look at the voltage at the inverting input right there. So, it's half of that 5 volt. So, again, not uh, perfect numbers, but uh, it's half there. That's the fixed one. Here we have our trim pot. So, we are below the uh, 2.5 volts, well below that. And uh, when I go above halfway, so I'm just a little bit above halfway right there, it's going to be close to 2.5, 2.9 right there, but it is above. So the output is high. Now let's look at the output voltage, which is what is uh, most important here for this video. So there you can see we got almost 5 volts. So a little bit of loss, but uh, pretty close to 5 volts. A lot better than it was with the op amp. That's the main thing. And now uh, we'll look at the output voltage, and it is almost uh, ground right there. So not perfectly ground, but uh, really close. Now... So these are just transistor switches. Covered those in earlier videos. Now we're going to get them out of the equation. Now the output is, uh, in a sense, floating, but uh, not quite. So we're going to look. The uh, trim pot's down low, so we're going to be close to ground again. And there you can see we're basically as close to ground as we were, zero volts, with uh, the load. Now we're going to turn the trim pot up. And this is what's going to be more impressive. There you can see that uh, we have the full supply voltage right there. 4.988, which is what we got when we measured the supply voltage directly. That is because we're using a pull-up resistor right here. So right now, the output is basically off. It's not sinking or sourcing current. It's just off when the output's high. We got this 470 ohm resistor coming from the positive supply. So we're getting that positive supply voltage right there when the output is high. When it's low, the output connects directly to ground right there. So whatever current gets through that resistor just goes directly to ground. That's why we have a certain voltage when the output is low, whether there's a load or not. So now let's talk about why I find that important. So I'm going to replace the uh, resistors going to the base of the transistors right there so that we're getting our signal. Again, these are NPM bipolar junction transistors. We need a little bit of base current, but uh, not much. So we got resistors, 10,000 ohm resistors to uh, limit the current. The uh, thing that's interesting though is when I did the op amp circuit, we saw that we lost at least a volt across the uh, load the current limiting resistor and the LED and here you can see we have uh, almost the full 5 volts right there kinda depends on how well I make a connection but uh, there you can see 4.9 a lot more uh, voltage than we had with uh, the op amp output directly and uh, here actually that one's off so there's no voltage across it now you can see that, uh, again, not perfectly 5 volts, but uh, really close right there, across the load. Whereas with just an op amp output, we lost over a volt for both of these LEDs. And so to explain the circuit in more detail, I have my schematic diagram right here. So this is a comparator schematic symbol. It's also an op amp schematic symbol. So to know whether they want you to use an op amp or comparator, there should be a part number right there. And uh, we're using the LM393 comparator. It's an open collector comparator right there. So what that means is that it does not output 5 volts. That's why we have this uh, 5 volt uh, resistor right there. You can see we got an NPN bipolar junction transistor here. No current will flow through it. 
if it's off if that has a low input in there but in any case it'll be off we have a pull up resistor right there and uh, basically this won't exist when the output is considered high the NPN bipolar junction transistor is small current will go through base to emitter and it'll saturate the transistor make it conduct as fully as it can and so you'll have 5 volts across the load with just a little bit of voltage loss across the transistor but we saw it did pretty good getting the full 5 volts across the load especially compared to an op amp powering the LED directly now when the uh, output is low that means the transistor is conducting it's connecting the ground as good as it can whatever current gets through the resistor here goes directly to ground and I didn't draw the power pins because this is a simpler video and uh, a lot of times these schematics won't have the power pins but you still have to power it so still plug in those power pins to the supply voltage so when the outputs low currents gonna go through ground there so that transistor will be off but here you can see we have a small current path going that way and uh, so that will allow basically the full 5 volts to go across the load it's a, a PMP bipolar junction transistor switch right there so outputs low PMP bipolar junction transistor turns off uh, turns on I mean and the blue LED lights up and now to wrap this up there's a few things to point out first off I mislabeled the circuitry there so the diagram itself is right but I labeled that NPM bipolar junction transistor switch that's obviously a PMP bipolar junction transistor and uh, down here is an NPN bipolar junction transistor so I use the 2N3904 there is the uh, pin layout for the NPN 2N3906 is a PMP same pin layout right there so you just gotta remember emitters on the left base in the middle collector on the right and uh, so here you can see that I uh, collect connect the emitter to the positive supply for the PMP and for the NPN you connect the emitter to the uh, negative supply and uh, the collector side has the opposite polarity right there that's all it is they work exactly the same but opposite polarities the integrated circuit we used was the LM393 same pin layout as the LM358 uh, that we used in the last video the op amp so you see this pin layout uh, quite a bit but it's not universal so I always check the uh, diagram and uh, positive supply we had that plugged in to the 5 volts and uh, pin 4 here to uh, ground right there you got to power that the main takeaway is that if we get above 0.6 volts and below 4.4 volts then both LEDs will be on when it comes to this uh, circuitry right here to uh, use transistors as switches so having them as switches bipolar junction transistors is really nice because we had practically the full supply voltage across the load but unfortunately in the uh, process it's easy to throw off the output voltage right there and uh, so the LM393 comparator did a better job of keeping the voltage below 0.6 volts when the output is low and above 4.6 volts when the output is high than uh, most uh, op amps can do and uh, so this is one way to do that I thought I would do a video on it and I hope you enjoyed make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting the screen and check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.